A state of emergency as tens of thousands of homes are in the path of a destructive fire. The line fire in San Bernardino has now exploded past 20,000 acres tonight. Scorching temperatures, the dry brush, the low humidity, all of it's helping fuel the flames. This fire started on Thursday and then quickly grew, forcing several communities from their homes with thousands more homes on alert. We have team coverage of the record-breaking heat and fire danger. Kai Goldberg is tracking the scorching temps, and Rachel Minitoff is in Van Nuys, where power outages are impacting residents. But we begin first with Sarah Walsh, who's live in Mill Creek tonight with the very latest on the line fire. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Courtney. Good evening. Yeah, we're here at the roadblock along Highway 38. And yes, we did learn that this fire grew another 3,000 acres. Now, tonight, erratic winds due to thunderstorms remain a concern as more and more people in these mountain communities pack up and leave. This is video from tonight. Flames engulfing a hillside on the east side of Highway 38 as a steady stream of vehicles come down the mountain fleeing the line fire. We're in the process of just helping other people with evacuations. Highway 38, one of the main arteries into the San Bernardino Mountains, is now closed at Bryant Street following new evacuation orders for the mountain communities of Forest Falls, Mountain Home Village, and Angeles Oaks. Katie Horn is helping rescue animals in the evacuation zones. And so we just evacuated two cows and a goat and a sheep, and now we're going and getting two horses. Hundreds of firefighters from the ground and air are battling this fire that exploded to 17,000 acres over the weekend. But it got incredibly huge. The grass, brush, and timber along these mountainsides is extremely dry and hasn't burned in decades. But there is progress. Today we didn't really see a huge movement of the fire. We were able to get in there and get a lot of good work done um, despite, you know, despite the weather. Dynamic weather conditions, including rain, lightning and sporadic winds are making for a challenging firefight. People need to understand that this is still a very active fire. And so it is not safe to even think about returning to your homes. If there are evacuation orders, those are there for a reason. 35,000 homes and structures are threatened by this fire. Crews have been able to stop the flames from moving into running springs. But Michelle and Carissa have everything packed and are ready to leave at a moment's notice. If the road probably to Big Bear starts to get totally blocked, mm -hmm. then uh, we'll leave just because we have to go to work in the midweek. And then I have a deck so I could see kind of the foothills behind me. So if I see any flames, I'm out. The extreme heat making it even harder on the crews fighting this fire. People who've left their mountain homes are grateful for what the firefighters have accomplished so far to beat back the flames. I just hope that they can get it, get it under control and, uh, and uh, save the rest of these little towns up here. And there is a bit of good news. Cal Fire says tonight that so far no homes or structures have been damaged or destroyed. For a list of those evacuation orders and warnings, you can always go to KTLA.com. And on one other note tonight, uh, in the last hour or so, we, we received word that there is no school tomorrow for students in the Big Bear Valley School District because of air quality and road closures because of the fire. We'll send it back to you in Hollywood.